Hey, I'm Mark Tucker, and I am going to show you how to fix a broken knob on the Guitar Hero Les Paul, Gibson Les Paul uh, Xbox 360. But I think this would work for uh, many of the Guitar Hero knobs that you hang the strap on. So uh, I got this guy, and he's nice, he's in good shape, but then I realized that uh, the knob here was broken off. You can see it, it's uh, on there now. But when I got it, it was actually broken off. Um, and I was trying to figure out what to do. So I flipped it over and I saw that there's two knobs. They had two knobs. And you, you've seen these before, probably before. But usually what they have is um, a knob that goes right here. You can see that. That knob right there. And then the strap goes on there over the back side to another knob here. But that knob was gone. But then I also noticed that there's a knob that usually goes right here. Or there was a knob there. And all the these um, guitar amps have these knobs. Um, but you can also get a regular guitar knob anywhere um, at a guitar store or order them. They're for pretty cheap. Just a regular plastic or metal for that matter. But plastic's better, I think, for this. Um, guitar knob. It has this extra knob. Not sure what purpose it serves. So... I decided to try to unscrew it, um, and it was a little complicated because you need um, a certain kind of screw, which I happen to have had, and it's this guy right here. Um, it's a, let's see if I can zoom in on that here. It's kind of a star, a star um, hex, not a hex, but a star uh, bit, okay? So that's the star bit, and it's a certain small size. Uh, it doesn't say on there what the size is, does it? Nope, but it's a small one. And then you get a uh, screwdriver that you insert it into like this. And you can, and what I did was I put it in there, unscrewed it, Right here, unscrewed that bad boy with that one, and then brought it around here. But you couldn't really screw it in, and this is the tricky part. Um, you couldn't really screw it in. So what I did, and it worked, just about an uh, an inch below the plug here in the back. I went an inch below, and a bit above where the old one was because it had broken off, um, and I don't have it anymore. And so what I did was I just you can knock just get a, a hammer and I nail and I just beep, knocked a little hole right in the crack right there um, you can also use a screw um, gun and, and or a drill and drill a teeny hole just enough to get the tip of this of the hex or star um, bolt in there and then I just screwed it in with this guy tightened it and tightened it and tightened it and now it's great it's very sturdy very tight and sturdy in there and it works fine so that's my solution and it works try it